Sure. When Steve came up with the idea of Tinkerbell and the Legend of the Never Beast, he wanted to tell this emotional story of this relationship between this mysterious creature and the fairy. And that led him to the animal talent fairies, and specifically Tinkerbell's friend, Fawn. Well, I, I love action-adventure movies. Love them. Um, and I also really love the emotional classic Disney films like Pinocchio, Bambi, and Dumbo. All those films that really emotionally took you someplace. Because for me, those are the films that my parents share with me, I share with my children, and hopefully my children will share with their children. It's the films that really last with you. Um, so I wanted to find a way to take those really heartfelt moments and combine it with a big action film. And it really does talk about a film about perspectives and, and judging a book by its cover. And Fawn sees a creature, maybe a creature that's in need, or a lovable monster, whereas Nyx sees a dangerous creature that could destroy Pixie Hollow. So it really is about perspectives. And when they actually see the legend, they both see it through their own eyes a completely different way. It was important for us to set up something that could be misinterpreted. So Nyx has found these pieces of the legend that she's leading it to believe that Gruff is this monster that could threaten Pixie Hollow. Whereas Fawn sees something different. There's a different way to see this legend in this story. But we didn't want to have an element that could be interpreted purely just this is the answer. It needed to be left open for question. Much like the story is don't judge a book by its cover, the legend itself needed to support that. Well, Gruff is unique, not just in his look, but in his sound. And um, he is comprised of different sounds. He's a llama, a camel, he's a dog, he's a cat, he's a little bit of a hyena in there. And it was really important to kind of create such a unique sound for Gruff that we kind of mixed all those animals together. So certain parts of the film, he's a camel, certain parts, he's a llama, kind of wherever emotionally we needed the story to go. Um, I actually have never met a llama. I would be very interested <laughs> in meeting a llama, um, but I've heard plenty of them. They're very lovable. They're very lovable. Um, but yeah, it was, um, I think that even the sound design of Gruff was really crucial to making sure that he felt grounded and real. Oh, she is, yeah, she's, she's very talented. She loves to draw. She loves to perform. Absolutely, I, I think that, yeah, she's probably going to follow in some creative arts footsteps, I would like to think. I, you know what? Honestly, with my children, I think with my head. I'm Nyx, basically, with my children. I'm the helicopter parent. Um, but uh, I think with my art, I do like to think that I think more with my heart. I'm Mr. Compassion. I'm always thinking with my heart, so I need him to balance me out a little bit.